Well, good day, everyone, and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. How are we all doing? Hope everyone is well and safe and having a great day. So, I've just had um, a delivery, and I just don't know exactly where or what at this present moment um, of exactly what this is because I really can't recall um, something that would come in a single package like this. So anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to get stuck into this. I will just quickly set up, um, decided to quickly do this unboxing on the spot. So I'm not really 100% sure what I have in this little gem of a parcel, but I'm sure it will be very enlightened to me once I get stuck in. So as I say, um, I'm not exactly sure what's in here right now. It's a bit of a mystery to my brain. Does not want to f share information sometimes. So anyway, <laughs> uh, without much information to give you at this point, I'm sure once I open it, I'll be able to share that with you and all the details will be in the comments section below for once I know what I've got here. So this is really kind of exciting. It's in a box. I can feel that. It's got fragile stickers on it, which is awesome. Got a couple of those. So it's been um, covered in the plastic wrap and it's got a box. All so far so good. Um, got my little snip snips I got from the scissor man. I like these little scissors. They're sharp though, you've got to be careful, eh? But they are really, really handy um, size, I think, for doing a little bit when you're doing the bags and stuff when you're kidding up. So I really like them. They're always hanging around somewhere. With... These guys are always, these scissors are always hanging around somewhere. So I'll just try and get in there a little bit. Snip, snip. It's got some plastic. It's got the plastic garbage bag style wrapping, and a bit of thick tape here and there to help keep it all in place. So I'll get into that, and you can sort of see the boxes a bit banged up from its journey. So, um, Diamond Express apparently. Okay, so this is sort of like throwing me a little bit because I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was. Okay, let's open this up and have a look what I've got because I don't know. I don't understand right now. Okay, so inside, oh, golly gosh. Inside um, the box, as I said, I'm a bit confused on what this. I wouldn't even know what it is, so it's not going to really help, is it? Um, oh well, we'll take it out and have a look, shall we? I'm just throwing it all over the place with this. So I've got some drills, I'll just pop that aside for the moment. I'll get to that later. Whoa. Anything else going to come flying out of the box? <laughs> I am just really taken back right now. I'm really not sure. Anywho, um, so I have your little kits, nothing spectacular there. And little metal tweezers. I do like these little spouty boat type ones. I just like the slightly bigger size is better for me. Okay, so Diamond Express. Now they do the double sided tape. It's going to be a 40 by 40. I'm just going to let this sort of just chillax for a minute. All right, I'm just going to, you're not going to be gone anywhere, but I'm just going to let this relax just for a second and then I'll peel it back. Okay, so I'm just sitting that, resting that canvas just for a little few minutes there, just to sort of, um, just let it come a bit to its own mind. Uh, these double side tapes I'm really concerned about um, 
lifting that lifting the glue off the canvas sort of thing and causing a ripple or a bubble or something so I just like to just let them sit for a moment so I've done that just so they can relax uh, all right so shall I just peel back and we'll have a look and then we can have a look at all the detail I don't know which way to go um, okay so we'll have a bit of a look and we'll just see what we have it looks nice and clean so it's one big sheet this is a sheet like a full sheet of um, cover just gonna gently slowly take this back don't like to rush this process because obvious reasons I don't we'll see just there that glue starting to come away on the edge so I'm just going to be really careful there because that's coming away a little bit okay hoping everything's in shot there peeling away there's a lot of gray tones Just gently coming back. Gentle, gentle, oh, gentle, gentle. That's the sort of thing that scares me. That bit will be all right. Just slowly bringing that cover back, keeping depth. Keeping the tension as even as I can. <gasps> Golly, these folds they click on things. Oh, I can see what it is now. It's a hoot hoot. Gentle, gentle. I have a hoot hoot. <gasps> Those folds every time. Okay, so I'm going to bring it about to there so then I can actually put this cover back on. How are we going? Can we actually see that, guys? I can't see through the screen at the moment, so I'm hoping you guys can. So I have... Um, it's an owl, basically. We have an owl just sitting on, chilling on his log. Right. Let's go down a bit closer, shall we, and have a bit of a look. We're going to come down, we're going to freehand this, so she's not going to be real sturdy. So, you know, those with motion sickness, watch out. So I have um, an image of a barn owl, I think. I'm not sure. It seems to be in the forest. We have a 40 by 40 canvas. From Diamond Express. And Diamond Express prints are very good, I've found. Oh, I knew I was going to do something stupid. I got a little stuck then. Gotta be very careful. Okie dokie. So, trying to have a bit of a look here at this canvas. So we have got the um, the little circles. Diamond Express do do the do have circles, but um, I was on there looking at their side of what a little while ago. Oh, because I often send me emails, but I haven't sort of bought anything. But I did see uh, something on there saying that some of the new canvases don't have these circles. So. I'm not sure if it's just you can request it or you just got to click the right, you know, selection. But I think you can get them without the circles now. Because you can hardly see them at all up there, can you? It's like, this one's a bit strange. It's like nearly how it's not printed. 
like you can see them there in the darker colors but the light colors are very softly very softly got those little rings around them so they won't really pop out too much I don't think at all so you can sort of tell the darker colors have the rings the really light whites they have them they're there but they're soft so that should work the symbols are still printed really well but the but those um, they're colored the rings are colored does that make sense I don't know if I'm making sense observations as I'm just looking through is that all right so I'm just going to lead off here to the key we can see we have 27 colors we have DMC's and basic lettering symbols. Hang on, I'm getting stuck again. All right, let's go from the bottom and have another look. I got a little bit stuck there. So 27 colors, DMC's, nice symbols, letters and numbers, nice and easy. And there we are, we have the thumbnail of the image. Sorry for being so unsteady. All right, so that is the canvas as such. It's a lot of um, greys and whites and so forth in the colorings. Seems to be like all the trees in the background there. All right, so I might just um, quickly just close this one up and then we'll have a look at the drills. For you, one second, and now you have drills. Ta-da! Okay, so these are round drills. They come in this really nice thick crink crinkly plastic bag which is yeah it's quite a thick bag I have oh these type of packaging again that's nice and thick you can easily put something back in there to keep everything tidy round drills these little fine little packaging and We have our inventory sheet and it's got all your symbols, ID of DMCs, quantity of each drill and how many little bags they should be. And they've gone along and just popped a little squiggle as I've checked off these. So hopefully they are all there. So they've got all these little strips going on. We'll come down and have a good look at those and then I might do a count and just make sure it's fine and let you know in the descriptions if it's not. So let's get down and press you Neil with the drills. Da -da. Okay as you all know this is not my absolutely ideal go-to but it is still fine. Um fine drills in these sort of packagings. I like to usually get some good drills so that's what I am interested in. Can you see? If these have got a, oh yes, it's just darkly stuck. It's in there. You can sort of, there you catch it there. The DMC number on these dark ones. I wish they'd print the gold on the dark ones. So anyway, we've got a dark brown colour, lots of those, I'll just have a bit of a look at all these different colours and the drills, I must say the last um, Diamond Express drills and things were very very good and these look to be the same quality of the drills going on. I've got a lovely sparkle and that's what I am wanting. 
a nice soft blue. What's that one? Oops. So quite a few bags of that lovely soft blue. And they look really nice as well. I have some of these bony colours. Some more greys. Quite a lot of those as well. The darker greys, so it's going to have a lot of greys and white shades with all those trees. I think background that misty background to it. That was kind of an interesting image, actually. I hope it comes up nice. I'm not sure about that out in the peculations, but got to trust the process and see what happens. Um, another shade of grey, quite a lot of those as well. Big, big, big strip of those ones. Some of these colours have got a big strip of them. Um, a bluey, stony sort of blue. So the drills look nice and shiny though, don't they? They're quite nice, nice and clean. Mm -hmm. What have we got here? Another darker grey. That's 317. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a nice change. 211, we've got a beautiful mauve colour. Just to help do some highlights around the place. 415. Another type of grey and a lot of bags of those as well. Yeah, we're starting to get the smaller packs, I think, soon. Getting there. 169 seems to be a like a grey, but it seems to have a I don't know, a little bit of a green tinge maybe. I'm not sure. Quite a few of those as well. And they look nice. Some darker colours there, 934. Got a bit of that green colours coming through. Yep, a couple of those. 413. Um, now we're getting down to sort of like little single colours. So these are little highlights and whatnot. So Try and show a couple at a time. So we've got that one, and that little tanny browns. So just one single color place of those, I think. And some more little shades. All different shades of greys and greens and blues and well not blues so much but a little bit of blue. Well that's just different isn't it, to everything else. Really beautiful plummy that's better colour. That's really pretty. That's a really dark blue. Some lilac y sort of mauves. A little bit more of these blue tones. And, whoops, I don't know if I showed that guy, I just dropped, knocked him around. So I'll just show him again. And I've got another one of these little dark coloured. Three, three, seven, one, or something there. So there you have it. The drills do look nice. As I said, I've have done up some Dime Express um, DP before, and they've come up really, really nice. So I'm 
yeah, more than happy with what you receive as a kit. And of course, most importantly, the finished product once I finished my diamond painting. So there we have it. That is a 40 by 40 Diamond Express um, double sided glue. So it's a tape glue. And we have round drills and in these little baggies with DMC numbers on them. So yeah, you can follow it that way. And of course you also have an inventory sheet with all those information as well as your little kit to go with that. And that is essentially Diamond Express unboxed. Ta-da. Oh, and don't forget the bag, because <laughs> that's important. <laughs> anyway, that was a very pleasant surprise. I really, really am happy to get this diamond painting. I'm just going to have a little bit. And um, I think it's going to be interesting be very interesting how this comes up especially for size and image hopefully it will work lots of greys um, tones and so forth in here but there is a few little surprise colors in this that's so going to keep it I think just keep it on track a bit of interesting diamond painting so there you go diamond express unbox for you hope you enjoyed looking through that um, I certainly had a great time and yeah, just thank you everyone um, for watching my videos. I really do appreciate everyone's time and I hope you're enjoying them and I'll see you in the next one. So that's it for me for now. Be your life beautiful and that's it. Sign out, Dale, for God's sakes, go. <laughs> Bye guys. See you soon. Mm -hmm.